It is time now for I've Always Wondered, and now this is a segment that I can get behind. We get to the truth about spring training with Jerry. So, Jerry, I have always wondered, when you are a player vying for a spot, how did you deal with competition in spring training? Uh, I think that's the best part. I mean, you play a sport, you're in it for the competition. So the fact that, you know, if it's a real fighting chance that you have, whether it's, you know, you have options, so you have no chance of making the ball club. But if you're in a real competition, that's what you're there for. You want to win based off of merit, not because you have an option that the other guy doesn't, all the above. You just want the opportunity to do your best. And if you don't have success, then you can't really argue that you didn't make that team. All right, Jerry, I've always wondered, because I've heard this a million times in spring training from pitchers, they go out there and get beat up in a, in a game, get give up from hits and runs, and they come back and say, hey, I was just working on things, I'm not really concerned. How often is that really the case, or is there some concern there sometimes? <laughs> There's always a little bit of concern because even if you're working on things, the fact that it's getting hit is a little bit concerning. But the truth is it's probably 60-40. 60% you are working on things because no matter what, you may have to throw your change up in this particular outing because you haven't done it. And this guy hits the change up very well. You're still going to throw the change up because it's spring training. It's about you getting ready for the season, not about getting out. Now, if you go back to Michelle's conversation, you're trying to get uh, a competition to win this, get, win a spot. There is no, I'm working on things. There is, I need to get out. So there's a, a little bit of difference. If it's an established guy, his velo, all the stuff is still there. He probably is working on things. Jerry, I've always wondered, what do relief pitchers actually do in spring training? <laughs> Golf. <laughs> <laughs> That's starters. We have this, this misappropriation of, of who you think uh, relievers are. People are... are uh, that's a starter. They have all the downtime. Relievers are mostly doing PFPs. Now, they do quite a bit of golfing as well. There's a lot of downtime. It used to be shagging uh, batting practice, but that's gone away for the for the better of uh, your careers. But there's so many PFPs out there, pitchers fielding practice, because, you know, when you come into the game in the 6th, 7th, 8th, these are these the times that team puts on bunt plays because they're not going to do it in the third inning because it doesn't really matter. You let the guy swing. In the 7th, 8th inning, when you come into the game, you're going to get those bunting opportunities. So you want to get as many reps as you can early so a lot of the times they're just fielding ground balls that's and 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 ch uh, chatting and doing nothing is a lot of it as well what a life picking dandelions all right jerry uh, i have always wondered obviously guys are pumped to get down to spring training see the guys again be in warmth uh, but at what point in the month does the excitement of spring training wear off uh, it's never uh, not exciting, you know, because you're you're you have that anticipation. I still get that build up when spring training is about to come. Usually it's when that that calendar turns over and it becomes the next year and it's January. You start to get that itch for spring training and then you get that first day, you know, of school kind of jitters before camp starts and then you're right in there. And especially with how they've shortened it up with this new CBA, there's a lot less downtime. So you're getting into that team practices, then you're right into ball games, And so there's really no downtime there's just that like when you're ready to go there's like that horse at the gate before the season starts ready to jump out to it and sometimes you got to pull the reins a little bit jerry i've always wondered do you actually like the sound of metal cleats on concrete <laughs> uh, I love it and I miss it. I'll tell you that. That's the truth. It, it, it is the sound of, of, you know, 15 years of my life. For the most part, you're, you're kind of worrying about where your spikes are. But the, the, the truth is they're not that slippery on concrete if you're not being uh, if you're not being an idiot walking around. So you can be careful. But I do love that sound. Jerry, thanks so much for playing.